Hello there. You may have seen the Paris Olympics 100 meter men's final, which was decided by five thousandths of a second. A number of records were set, both for Noah Lyle's fastest time and the closeness of the top finisher's times. We think he got it. They're working on the photo. It was the great grandmother of all photo finishes. But have you seen a photo that is used to determine the winner of a photo finish? In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the technology behind photo finishes and how it's used to determine the winner of a race. It's a great way to introduce position time graphs, or just as a real-life application of the physics behind displacement, time, and speed. A photo finish is a situation in a race where two or more competitors cross the finish line at virtually the same time. The winner of the race is then determined by examining a photograph of the finish line. Take a look at these pictures of the finish. They are extremely short exposures, so the motion appears frozen. Can you spot how the second picture was taken the tiniest fraction of a second after the first? Look at the height of Thompson's white shoe in lane four. If you look carefully, you can see that this picture must have been taken another fraction of a second later than the other two. Note the position of each runner's feet on or above the ground, the change in the runner's body positions, and how the closest racer, number 9 Jacob's necklace, has shifted position, as has where he is looking. But none of these pictures can definitively show who crossed the finish line first. Omega provides the current timing technology for Olympic events. It begins with the electric starting gun, which sends a gunshot sound to the speaker behind each racer. A good talking point is why this is necessary nowadays, instead of using a traditional starter's pistol. The timing technology ends at the other end of the race, with a high-speed Omega Scanovision camera taking pictures at up to 40,000 frames per second. The camera captures images of the finish line as the competitors cross it, but each picture is only one pixel wide. When the pictures are lined up next to each other, they create a composite image, a position time diagram, as it were, that shows the exact order in which the competitors cross the line. There are some fun details to notice. Even though the track is purple with white lane numbers and markings, the photo shows a solid white track with thin purple lines. One is a pair of purple lines. Why? The postures of the racers are very similar to the first two pictures, but with some odd distortions. Some feet are strangely elongated, while others are shortened. Why? Look again at the video. The background Olympic advertisement is purple and says nothing about Omega. How did this sponsor's message get there? Pause here if you want to check these out for yourself. Remember, the finish photo is made up of many vertical strips only one pixel wide. Look carefully at the first two pictures and you can see where the coloring comes from. Unlike the pictures, which show a wide space in a single instant of time, the finish photo shows a single line of space over a wide expanse of time. Feet and other body parts that were moving slowly get stretched out and blurred, while anything that crossed the finish line faster than average looks truncated. What's really fascinating is that the racer's bodies look almost normal, and you can still make out details, like the numbers of each racer. You can also see that there were many light sources casting multiple shadows. Cool! If you look at picture number two and watch the video carefully, you can see a small pole that flashes as the runners pass. This flashing must have been synced with the Scanovision camera to produce the image behind the racers. You can also see this in saccade-based displays at a science museum near you, or on monkey lights on a bicycle. Final thoughts. I call this finish photo a PT diagram, but is it really? What about it is like a PT diagram, and what is unlike? If anyone cares to, please make a GIF from all the vertical scan lines, and I'll add a link to it. And for those who want a tie-in to forces and Newton's laws, how might Kishane Thompson and Fred Curley, the racers who just barely came in second and third place, respectively, have tied or even beaten Noah Lyles? The answer is at their feet. It's similar to how Michael Phelps won an Olympic swim event by a fingernail's thickness. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It helps motivate me to keep being creative and not grade school stuff. While NBC and everyone else who owns the copyright to these images will make sure this video never gets monetized, 
do please buy me a coffee and see what physics geek stuff I have to offer in my Etsy store. Check out my first Ms. Frizzle-inspired Hawaiian physics shirt. Thank you.